And we're back with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and the suffering. All right, so let's get to it, because we've got um, a lot of issues going on with this guy. Could you take a look at my home computer? It has been actually doing up a little while, and it just won't boot. Honestly, this machine used to... I'm just going to try to read it as it used to be great, but I've had nothing but problems since we moved into the old house. First weird noises and glitches, and now this. Maybe it's something to do with the something. The, I don't know. Sorry about the typos, by the way. My keyboard is acting really weird, too. I'm just getting, going to order a new one. Rob. All right, so we don't know what's really wrong with this. Even looking at the PC and that budget, nothing's exactly 400 bucks. And I'm pretty sure it's, so we got to figure out what's going on here. Um, in the market for a new PC. So we got to do these very carefully. <laughs> If I don't get a new computer soon, I'm going to scream. Performance-wise, can you aim to benchmark 7315? Do you think you could do the, get the CPU to 4848 megahertz for me? Could you get it done in 11 days? I read that NZXT parts are really good. I like shiny new components. Uh, yeah, this is what I was worried about. So let's take a look. Now, we've built computers greater than that, uh, that number. And these are all in the 8,000. That's a water cool. So... I would say for this guy, we have a video card that will make this. We have to have everything else that'll make it, though. Um, I think we even have some memory floating around, too, that we could burn. But let's get started with the standard things that I sometimes forget, like cases. So 50 bucks for the case. Um, the power supply. We need a beastly power supply. Um, 850 watts is a requirement. So that puts us at 1610. The storage. Let's just go for a regular solid state and we'll adjust later as needed. So that's 60 bucks. We have the graphics card, but just to ensure that we have the right one, in our budget, it's 690. Okay. Process L. We need to go to the biggest. So that's going to be minus 450. Puts us at 410. Cooling can be cheap, but. Oh, wait, we need to get an NZXT tower. We'll do that in a minute. So let's add 50 back in for the regular tower. Okay, and then we need to go with NZXT. And 80, 180 millimeter, that's fine. So we'll minus 80. 370, and we need a motherboard. So Coffee Lake is the winner here. Okay. So let's take a step back and look at our memory. What do we have already? We can put these in or this 8 gigabyte at 3000 let me see here so we have 215 bucks to burn um memory 4000 so this would be 140 which would leave us with 75 even adding in another 40 bucks i can't get that RAM in there. What else could we do? We have 215. And yeah, those are 270. So no, we should go with we should go with the 8 gig at 4,000. So minus 140. And the rest is really the rest. 75 bucks if we add back in the 60. Gives us 135. So theoretically, we can get the really nice goody rig that we want for storage. And have five bucks left over. Where is the super speed? That's 130, so boom. And he's got his NZXT tower, so yay. Um, we're going to have same day delivery on, on all of these because we got three builds. All right. Um, <clears throat> a little trickier, but totally doable. And it's going to be a weaker CPU that we can get away with. And technically, we can get away with a weaker GPU as well. So this build is actually not as bad as it looks. 
Someone recommended you for a new PC build. I am hoping you to benchmark around 8333. The CPU could definitely hit 4444 40, megahertz. Can you overclock it? I really want the GPU to be as fast as me. Let's aim for 1353 for the GPU. Can you get it done quickly? I like nice shiny new components. Um, Erman Gif Ermrand Gifford. You know, Erwin Hubbard? Whatever. Never mind. Um, weirdo. Um, luckily, these are not hard numbers to go for. So let's go for processor. Actually, let's go with the usual suspects first. So the budget is 1784. So let's say $50 case. Um, we can go probably get by with a 750 watt power supply. So we'll do that instead of the biggest one. And I'm sitting on a 750 watt power supply too, aren't I? So let's say 120. Get rid of that thing for f finally storage. We're actually sitting on a brand new hard drive, so let's do that. 50 for this guy. Just get rid of shit, you know? That's what I say. All right. Now we've got 1,564 bucks to go. Let's let's look at processors and look at 1,500 megahertz or, ho or higher. And that's 270. I want to say I think we can go cheaper and still go higher. Okay, that's something that's not that's not the case. Um, wait, I don't even think I went high enough, did I? Or actually, I did. Okay, so that's a cabbie lake. So we'll buy that. That's minus two seventy. It's a little pricey, but it'll be what it'll be. Ten bucks for cooling. And the murder bird. Um, we need it to be cabbie lake. And there. And it actually gives us enough almost. So let's go to graphics cards. And I want to look at that EVGA again. Because I'm pretty confident with that guy at 510. We don't have a lot for memory, though. So that's kind of the trade off. Um, but I was very, very wowed by its performance. Um, 1,020. Um, so that gives us $89 to work with for memory. Now, theoretically, we can go cheaper. So let, let's go a little bit cheaper, I say. As convenient as it is to just build this, we can get this number with cheaper video cards. Um, I know we can. Um... Where is the one we were looking at? The EVGA... Okay, 510. Now, I want to go a little lower, but I don't need to go a lot lower. So we should be able to do it with the this guy here. So let's say it's minus 810. That gives us 299. This is good. Because... How many sticks of memory am I holding on? We could dump these two in there at 140 a pop, so that's 280. Ha ha ha. Suck it, game. Oh, okay. So this is mostly there. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. Install water cooling for CPU and GPU. I'm looking to pay for a new PC. I want the system cooled. With a custom loop, have you heard of EKWB? They're meant to be pretty good. I know you use Part 3 but I like new ones. Please. Regards, Imran Reynolds. Aren't we making something for you? Or oh, Imran Gifford must be a popular name. All right, whatever. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Um, 2470 is our budget. Now, we can't go absolutely batshit crazy with our build because... We have to do liquid cooling, which we got to go over here for. So let's take a look at what's here. <clears throat> and really, we got to budget ourselves very carefully because it's very easy to go over our threshold of what we can afford. Um, but it would be nice to fiddle with something better than the norm. 
Um, but again, we're going to break the bank. So let's go with something that's moderate. Let's just go with like this. So minus 150. We'll go with the cheapest reservoir at two, whoop, minus 220. We'll need a CPU block. We'll just go with this one for 300. We ain't out of it yet, guys. Water-cooled GPUs. And he wants a GPU in here, and he wants EKWB. EKWB. So I guess they're all EKWB. Um, well, what's the highest performance, I guess? It's hard to figure out. But we could go with, like, this one. Or GTX 1080. Lower wattage, so we'll go with this. Minus 805. That already puts us at $995. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go into case. We'll do a $50 case. Uh, power supply, uh, 750 Or we can go even six. You know, let's do 650 It saves us 30 bucks. This is going to add up. Regular solid state. All right, we have a graphics card, but we have nothing else. That's right, we have nothing else. So, um, processor. I would say we need one that overclocks. And I want to say maybe AMD is our better deal. Because they, well, see, we could go to 6600K. Or we could go over here for 190. Yeah, let's do that for now. We have cooling. So, motherboard. Minus 165. So, I actually didn't hurt myself too bad. We have 460 bucks to burn. So, this might change things around a little bit. But, what are we holding on to here? Um, one core is there, 8 gig at 3,000. So, we could go to memory 3,000. Corsair there 8 gig so let's say minus 105 so let's do a second one and we can do another one theoretically we can do another one which leaves us with 40 bucks left so if there's 40 bucks left we can go bigger on our power supply so we can actually go to a full 750 for because it's only 100 bucks. Um, boom, minus 100. All right, all right. So we need same day shipping on this. So let's buy this now. Looks like everything is in there. And it looks like I'm pretty sure everything is in here. So, buy now. Except. All right. I probably want to work with the liquid cooled one first, just to get it done. Um, and to get it pr rather rip prepared. And the NZXT one would be the last one that we fiddle with. So. Who was liquid cooled? Reynolds and Culture were the two ones I'm more most interested in getting done first. R Reynolds and Cultural, and then this dude goes over here. All right, let's get to work on this one because this is going to be a weird one. Only one video card though, so that we don't have to do work too hard. Power supply 750. Uh, motherboard. 
And I know I gotta take this front panel off no matter what I do, so we gotta. state Ryzen memory That's weird. Oh, because it's bigger. That's why. Well, at least we know we can fit it up there. I, I was, like, getting weirded out there for a minute. Let's put the front panel back on. And then... pipe this thing. Okay. Crazy ass colored coolant. Yeah. It's the mutagen. Now, theoretically, you could power this thing up like it's nobody's business, but we will not be doing that. We did what he wanted. We'll do things like set the RAM and test the machine, but we don't really need to do too much. I mean, we could mess with these settings. Um, let's just see what happens. You know what? Let's save the game, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, apply changes and restart. Mm, no, it's booting up just fine. But I'll show you uh, what I did earlier. With regards, I feel like I bought something that I didn't put in here. We're using these for the other rigs. No, I guess not. Whatever. Should be fine. But what we can do is we can do 3D Mark Advance because we're going to need to do that anyway. OCCT because we need to know if it's being throttled. in our GPU tuner. I don't think I... No, it's fine. I don't know why I took that off. Power supply. This guy. So we need to watch this test and make sure the CPU is not being throttled here. Because if the CPU is being throttled, then it's a setting in the processor issue that would be causing the problem. it's good so it did not get too high we'll run it uh, you 
Should be this one. Yes. All right. I think we're only getting one to two sticks of memory in here. We'll figure that out with the leftover amount of money we have. $229 remaining, so... How much is remaining? 219 So you only had one stick. $79 bucks remaining. I thought we were closer than this. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's not enough to put another one of those in. We'll check the other machine before we even boot that one up. So this guy is done. Had to be that power supply. Put that in. I think we're actually okay. Two hundred and twenty five. Hold on. So there's something up here. Yeah, so the, the storage got in the wrong place. Yeah, because that, that's exactly what's necessary there. Pretty sure this will be fine. We'll start the other one first just because it's more likely that that's going to be the one with the issues. And then, how much is available now? Ah, yes. See, now we have enough to put in another stick. Look at that. All that money we spent on accident made back. Got it. Uh, 
And then for you, whoop. Got that last time out of the same kind of build, so we should be able to get it out of this one. Okay, this guy is done. So that'll be good. I want the system cooled with a custom loop. Don't know what the hell he's talking about, but... Hmm. So we'll save, obviously, because that could be problematic. Because I don't know how to set it. We don't have any software for that. Is there any software that may exist that I missed? No, no software here. We own everything here, so it's not in there either. So I don't know what he's talking about. Let's make a save and turn this in now while we're working on these other ones. Okay, so that's fine. It, he just wanted it looped, that's all. So we can discard that. And we get some motherboards. It looks like. And whatever that is. Now, did these guys want anything else that was special? And ZXT. That's impressive C. Yes. 7996. Just what the doctor ordered. So this one is done. And 8328. 8333. Now it should reach that. Well, this guy's done for sure. Do, 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 do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Missing cables. God damn it. Really? Just tested this fucking thing. Now we gotta retest this. We don't need to mess with anything else. We just need to run 3D Mark. That, that is the one thing I really hate is that those fans don't get auto plugged in. Because that's silly. That's just silly. I gotta retest the whole machine because one fan wasn't plugged in. And, aw, oh, crap. It's going to get interesting. Let us... Try it now. I don't think we need to change parts. We just need to get this to work. And how much money do we have left over? 19 bucks remaining. So we can't really go to a higher power supply. We should be able to do it with this. So let's just let that run in its course. All right. We don't know what's wrong with this one, so we'll have to figure that out. But what's great is, is I think we got rid of a lot of the excess. Yep. Yep, excess is gone. No, no excess there. And excess meaning stuff I bought by accident. So, yeah, it looks like we're good. We're, if these rigs go as is, we're, we're covered. Motherfucker. Might just be the wattage, though. You know, there's a faster way to do this. And I'm going to do it. 79. All right. This one is now officially done. Just because of the weird request. There we go.
And a thousand watt power supply. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, there's a better way to test this. And you bet your ass I will. And that's going to be with OCC2. T. Because we can run it, and if we have a crash issue, we can deal with the, We can figure out what the wattage is, is really what it comes down to, the draw on the machine. And that will overall make this more realistic to sort out. GPU temps. Interesting how one's hotter than the other. See, we can test it a lot more quickly. It'll black at screen, uh, death screen right away. All right, so. Stabilizing. Wattage looks good. So the temperatures are actually the problem. I think more than the wattage. But let's see. The wattage is still climbing. Okay. So that looks pretty good. But let's see if it shuts off after this. Remember, we were just shy of the number needed, so if this actually processes through and makes it through 3D mark, we either got lucky by fiddling with it, or we're just going to be short again, and then we just we want to creep it up ever so slowly each time to see if we can get it to go. But we should be able to. If not, it's just on the threshold, and on all fairness, we'll take a stick of memory out and beef up the power supply, throw in some fans. You know, because that would be the money difference. Because that's 140 bucks right there. So it's not like, oh my god, I gotta buy and redo this machine from the ground up. It's nothing like that. Um, we take out a stick of memory and then kind of repurpose a lot of the money towards the parts that would fix the problem easily. So we're getting a tomahawk coming in in another tower, but no real means to do anything once they're here. We would need a motherboard. And storage. Though the tomahawk might actually be a uh, the right thing. So if we only need storage, we'll buy the storage. I don't see a problem with that at all. Um, some memory. Not sure what that is. Might just be a fan or a heatsink. More memory. Video card RX five seventy, which I think we don't have any more. Yeah, we only got a five eighty. Oh, we do have an RX five seventy four gig. What's the one that's up here that we be getting? And that's an eight gig. I don't think they'd fit, but whatever. Delivery of Corsair RM eight fifty. Power must be a power supply. Broken PC coming in. That's cool. Those are always fun. Another broken PC. Two broken PCs. Woo. Okay, let's take a look at the damage. 8346. That seems to be... 83... Okay, we just made it. Yeah. So that's the, per the perk of the OCCT, is you can speed test things. The negative is that you're more likely to blow up a processor. <laughs> Especially if you're dicking around with overclocking, you know, and a few other aspects. If the cooling's not good enough, you'll blow up a processor. So as useful as OCCT is, you got to be very careful with it because it's not safe to use. I warn you again, it's one of those things that I've, you know, from a couple of instances, you can see I only use it when I absolutely have to because you never know how it's going to end up playing out with that software because it could blow out your system or the systems that you are inherently working on let's go ahead and collect on this guy 
Yay! Alright, let's power this down. And we grab that. So, this motherboard is AM4 as well. Hmm. So we don't have a processor, so... Her, her, her. Um, but we do have an empty case. So we'll have to figure that out about what we're going to do with that. Boot up. Let's just throw this in storage. So we really don't have the means to build anything, and I don't want to buy three components. A motherboard... Well, no, it's not three. It's actually two, but whatever. Now now i got to think about it, because I might do that. And yay, 1600 smackerinos. And then we've got these two guys finishing up, which will be good. Um, Let's see here. So we need to figure out what's wrong with this dude's rig before we do anything else. He says it doesn't power up. Um, I bet you it's the motherboard, but we're going to cover the slightly easier prospect first. Because we at least can test this. Because we can put in another power supply, boot it up, and see if anything else is broken. So that's a broken power supply. So let's go ahead and put in this guy. No video. So he needs a new video card. RX 470 Gaming. Boom. And he needs a new power supply. Which is this one. And we don't know if there's anything else wrong. It's still not quite 400 bucks. So let's go ahead and put in a video card that works. And see if there's any other issues. It also remove viruses while we're here too. Doesn't seem like there's anything else wrong. Cause that's running fine. Come on, come on. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this out. So it looks like those are the two broken parts. Apologies again. Allow me to assure you that Santa is now officially on time and has lost computer privileges. There is no... These will not be reinstated until he can demonstrate the values of maturity and goodwill that we put to at the heart of everything that we do here. Please accept our sincere apologies again. With deepest regret, Elf3258. <laughs> oh my god. New computer request. Huh. Upgrade and I need something fixed. Ooh, wow, 940 bucks? That could be anything. It could be everything. <laughs> Probably a video card and something else, but that, that's that's a lot of repair work, my friend. Uh, so 1100 bucks, and he, oh, what is, so I need a new PC. I need this PC to hit at least 2237 in benchmarks. I got to get it done by tomorrow, too. An AIO water cooler would give me some headroom for overclocking later on. I heard you guys putting used parts and do that. Intel components are meant to be the bomb. This isn't actually that hard of a rig to build, really, because um, he's not asking for the best performance in the world. He's asking for Intel and liquid cooling. 
which in and of itself is not the best parts and the definitely not the best performance. So, but we don't have to, doesn't mean we put in just garbage. Okay, we're going to put in something somewhat substantial, but not groundbreakingly next gen. And I'm thinking what we might want to do is to put in like this guy here. So let's do that. This is a coffee lake, so it's a little cost more costly. But if we have to upgrade later, it's it's a pretty solid rig. Um, so let's go to Coffee Lake. Boom, minus one fifty five. Cooling. He wants liquid cooling. Minus sixty. Okay, so we don't want to go too crummy on the memory. And when we did our Coffee Lake. 4,000, so what do we got in 4,000? We only need to put one stick in there of 8 gig, is, and I'd be happy with that. So we'll do that. Boom, minus 140. Now let's do the rest of this really quick. So let's do a case at 50 bucks. Um, a power supply. He doesn't need anything major, so let's go with this cheap $60, 650 right here. Boom, minus 650. That puts us at 460. Storage. Let's do this. Boom. Minus 60. That's 400 for a graphics card. Right on the nose. Um, and we don't need to, again, we don't need to go beastly here. That 405 would have been perfect, but we're not going to have the money for to hit 405. <laughs> uh... This is not bad. These are bad. This is bad. This, nah, this is bad. The p p output is way too ridiculous for the wattage. This one is an option. So is the, f the well. That's a four gig. I'd rather go eight gig if po if at all possible. Hmm. So this looks like the better card here. Thirteen nine. Okay, this is the better card here. You notice how I'm moving around trying to figure out which one's the best. Um, and then these should be the four oh fives. Okay, so yeah, we'll go with this one. It'll leave us with five bucks left over. Alright. That rig done. Upgrade. Um, I haven't upgraded for a while. It's about time. Got to hit 54, 12 in benchmarks. I need 16 gigs of memory. So can you do in eight days? I'm. It's not as quick as it used to be. I'm a total G skill fanboy. Um, what do you got? Okay, so you got some ways to go, and you want G skill. So that means we got to do a whole new stick of memory, regardless. Um, RX 484 gig isn't very good either. So, first of all, this is a good processor. So, power supply is, would run two cards, but not overclocked. But he only wants to go to 5412. So, let's look at RAM really quick. Let's look at 16 gigs at 4,000. So, and we'll, we'll, we'll implement that in our equation here. So 717 bucks is our budget, right? So let's go and find a 16 gig stick at 270. So that puts us at $447. Um, again, not a big deal at 447. What is the graphics card again? It is an RX 480. And it's specifically just a 4 gig regular. It's not a big watt draw, so let's do that. So minus 340. Which gives us 107, which means we can buy a better power supply, which we're going to do. Um, so we can overclock it a bit. Um, so we can buy a 750 water right there. Boom. With seven dollars to spare, so that should be a really good upgrade. So we accept that, 
And with this, we don't know what's wrong. Can't believe my PC's broke. Can you have a look at it for me? I have no idea what's wrong. Let's just say a cup of soup and computers don't mix. It's urgent. My kid's been getting some weird pot. We accept, but we're not going to buy any parts for that because we just don't know what the hell's really going on. All right, so um, in transit, we can discard that. Um, let's go ahead and have everything ordered today because we can also do that other build, and we need to fix the one that's here. So, boom. Let's put this over here. All right, so let's go ahead and fix this guy. Get out of there. And the graphics card, which is a 470 4 gig. Sir, I needed stuff as well. <clears throat> Run and checking for prawn. Uh, motherboard. Says me, I think we did two sticks, but we may have done more. Nope, just one actually. And this guy wanted AIO cooling. Let's see if we can get it on that side thing, like I like where I like to put it. Nope. So send it high. And then, uh, graphics. Ten bucks remaining. Because the deal, the deal is, if this guy comes back and wants another upgrade, he's actually on a good road for upgrading. Whether it's his processor or his, or he won't need a motherboard upgrade. Um, he could get more RAM. He could get a video card. He'll probably could even get a better, slightly better power supply. But for the most part, he's mostly squared away as is. Um, so it's a very, very, very upgradable rig. And it should be easy for us to get the performance he wants because we'll be able to jack the performance up pretty pretty high. Reboot. 30, okay, we don't care about the score because this was a repair. Let's jack this up. Not all, not too high. We'll just do it about there. And screw it, we'll go a little less. I don't have that much to play with. I will save, but it should be fine. Nice. I seven ninety seven hundred K. I kind of want to look at that. Uh, it looks like a, some kind of motherboard and a case. Damn! Um, and then it was a Wi-Fi, right? Well, it's a beast, but... It's an expensive, overpriced beast. So, for for when we can do other 
motherboards that seem to do just as well. I know these episodes have gotten a little longer these last few ones. I do apologize a little bit for that. But it's nice being able to get some of these rigs done and then just kind of moving on with everything. Forty-three oh seven. That's way more than what he asked for, which is good. And we didn't even have to use the GPU tuner that all that much. Probably didn't need to use it at all, but you know, may as well. Bam. So those are in transit. Let's power down and let's just get to it the next day so we can knock them out really quick. At least one of them really quickly. We'll save the other one maybe for the next time. At least that'll make sense. Free memory. Another case to which I don't have really the means to repair anything. This was the upgrade, which was a rather easy upgrade because we we're going to put in a bigger power supply. We were going to put in a second card. And the memory... Oh, crap. He, oh, no, we got G-Skill. Okay. I believe he said G-Skill. And it just so happened that is what we needed. Okay, let me double check. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. One more day on those. Okay. Build, build, fix, virus. Probably an advertisement. All right. Uh, yeah, G-Skill. Okay. $7 remaining. I think we're not going to get much better than that, ladies and gentle, gentle, ladies and gentle funks. Let's uh, check the memory speed. So we didn't get the 4,000 out of it, but we got 3,600. So theoretically, we could have done some more, maybe, but it wouldn't have been by much. It's almost kind of one of those irrelevant arguments. Okay, he says it doesn't boot up anymore. Let's take a look. For a dude that has $900 of a shit invested in this rig, it's got to be something or a combination of things that are absurdly expensive. Um, Virus scan. All right, so is it a bad power supply? It is not a bad power supply. Put it back. Which probably means it's a bad motherboard video card combo. Yep. Let's just take the motherboard out too, because it can't just be the video card. I'm there's no way it's just one seven hundred dollar video card. Okay, well, there's a drive in there, it looks like. Processor's fine. This cooling's good. Motherboard is broken. So what motherboard does he have? Z390. And he's got a black one that's 275. The memory is fine. Graphics card is not. Uh, Vega 64.
The storage is fine. And everything else is fine. So, damn, that's a lot. We're, we're just going to buy this outright so that we can just get this machine going. Because I know we're already going long here. Um, this is a cool looking rig, though. Real with so much prawn. this mount and maybe it's just because the game the way the game does it I hate it but it's still annoying as crap Ooh, boom fancy install install that's gonna get enough prawn and it's diagnosed and fixed and now so now we just gotta run these tests and we're good Check those out. Looking to buy land. Are you looking to buy land? Want somewhere out of the way, untouched, and a little bit wild? Look no further. We have exclusive rights to offer land parcels on the moon. Yes, you read that right. The moon. For thousands of years, man has gazed up at the night sky and seen the glory silver sphere hanging in the endless sheet of studded black velvet. Many stories were told about where the moon came from, what it was made of, and what it might be like to live there. Now, thanks to the wonders of modern technology, you can finally find out. Contact us now. Our experts are waiting to offer you one of our reasonably priced packages, customized to suit your needs. Starter package. Uh, a cozy 5M2 plot. Perfect for getting a foothold on this exciting new frontier and ideal gift. Pioneer package, our most popular offering. Including a 15 by 2 meter of prime lunar real estate. Recommended for those wishing to build a small home. Moon Lord package, our premium offering. A massive 30 by 2 meter by 2 of land available perfect for business developments and corporate events add on 1969 package spruce up your plot with a scale replica of the 1969 moon landing site alien protection worried about aliens blasting your new pla oh my god this is just like a bullshit thing <laughs> alright 7447 yup this guy be done we're getting there, you know, it's, it's, so far I've noticed when we've gotten into a spot of trouble, it's either that it's a rig thing that has no time limit on it, which is great because of how are you going to complete some of this stuff with, with the required, you know, with the weird requirements that they're asking of us. But in some other, in other respects, it's like, um, some of them are just, I need to rethink how I did my layouts and, you know, and then when you don't need to stress when you get parts you that you can't use because you you know you did some testing and it's not the right stuff don't give up hope save those parts and use them on something else unless they're absolute garbage and they won't work on anything else but yeah for the most part you can usually recycle stuff pretty easily um and and so far we haven't run into that as an issue yet let's collect on these guys yay 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 so, we got a uh, easy as hell virus removal job, a uh, very specific repair job, okay, uh, a PC build, um, which isn't that difficult with that, even with that budget, um, uh, and 
another build, which isn't that hard. So we've got, and then what do we have here? Oh, another case it looks like. I'm uh, not sure what that is. And another motherboard. So yeah, we've got our work cut out for us um, coming up, and uh, we'll get these knocked out as we got two PC builds to fix this and a virus problem, which has nothing, we, which we don't need to even buy parts for. We could just do it, then 3D mark it and get it out. Um, so that'll be a nice short little repair job. And these guys just seem to be Intel fanboy, Intel fanboy. So yeah, this shouldn't be too hard uh, to knock out with repairs what you know so yeah this is an easy rig i don't even know why it's a level five but maybe there's something we don't know yet but i highly doubt this is going to be difficult so anyway i want to thank you guys for stopping by i'm your host your rpg guy when we come back we'll have some more pc building simulator for you like comment subscribe all that good stuff check out my twitch page at twitch.tv slash jack tart studios for all kinds of cool shows anyway don't want to keep you guys any longer so we'll see you guys next time well i hope you guys enjoyed that video Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.